Hi loves, it's Amber and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Today we are here in Cast for a fun little challenge. Today we're going to be creating Sims for each of the romantic aspirations in The Sims 4. So if we come here, we see that we have the love group of aspirations and there are four different aspirations here. So we have the romantic explorer, soulmate, serial romantic and paragon partner and for our first sim we're going to go for the romantic explorer so romantic explorer this sim wants to explore all that romance has to offer so this is going to be our first sim this is her little base i think she's adorable and this is just going to be our loves love cutesy a little sim so i think when we're doing this it's a little bit hard because kind of all that we know about this sim is that they want to explore everything that there is about romance so i think i'm just gonna go for a kind of whimsical romantic sim for this one i think i'm gonna use this hair because i don't think i've used it yet and i think it's so pretty and then she just kind of has like a little whimsical kind of face so i think i'm going to go for a very like light sort of feminine aesthetic that just kind of makes sense for me because i just think that i'm thinking that this is a sim who enjoys the idea of being in love they're always kind of looking for it looking about it thinking about it that's just kind of who they are so i think we're gonna go for something like that so let's see what we have i think like this little dress would be really pretty and this little pink and white y'all that's so cute i love this little fit i feel like i've maybe used it before and if i have oops but it's so cute you could also do one of these i love this like this little set's also super cute or i just downloaded this which is also very cute oh i haven't used this for sure because i just downloaded it and how cute is this i think maybe this color palette Actually, I think I want to use this. I also can't remember if I've used this before. It gets kind of hard to remember, honestly. I make a lot of sims on this channel, and so it's hard for me to say if I've used something or not. But I think I want to go for this. I think this is super cute. And then these socks. I know I've used these before. I use them literally all the time. But I want to use them again. I think they're so cute. And then for shoes, oh, these are really pretty. I'm, we're obviously not wearing those. You guys know how I feel about wearing sandals with little socks. So we're not doing that. I honestly want to use shoes that I know for sure I've used a lot of times before because I just want to do like a little Mary Jane. I love these, but the heel is out and I don't know if I love the look of that on the back. We could do these, which always make the Sims so tall. I absolutely love it. But these are just kind of like a very simple, very classic Mary Jane, so we could go for that. I finally see what the difference is on these. These have a pattern, which I think is really cute, but I don't think it goes with the fit. So I think we go for these. And then she will have very simple nails. So let's come down here. Let's get a nice classic nude. And then I think for lashes here, we went for ones that interact with oh no we went for the ones that interact with the rings so let's switch them out and we will just do the no glasses version there we go and that's perfect okay so we've got our rings on let's see do we need any bracelets i don't have a ton of bracelets in my game so we'll have to go kind of simple here. I think like this, I guess this color actually is the closest match. We just go for red. I don't know, that feels too red. Maybe this. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of the vibe I get for like Romantic Explorer, right? Like she just has like, a very simple very cutesy style she thinks of romance as being very sweet very cute and so she's just kind of like got like a bright bubbly sort of style so for makeup 
go for kind of what I always go for, I guess. This one's pretty. Should we do the full eye? Oh, that's actually really pretty. Bring the opacity down just a little bit. That's actually really cute. Okay. And then for cheeks, she's already got a fair amount of blush, but I think I want to brighten up her face just a little bit more. That's really cute. And then we'll go for just a simple glossy lip. This is kind of like a nudie color. That's pretty. I like the pinkish eyeshadow, but I feel like it clashes just a little bit with her outfit. So let's just go for more of like a gold. That matches so well with her <laughs> um, eyes. That's kind of crazy. And then earrings. This one definitely needs earrings. And so I think we need... Do we go for just like these little flowers? These are pretty. These are new in my game as well. Or maybe just like hoops. I know I've used these a bunch of times too, but I love these. This is like my type of earring. Like if you, I was gonna pick any earring in this game to have on, it would probably be these. So it makes sense that I use them a lot. And then just a very dainty little necklace. Okay, I think that's actually perfect. And then should we have tattoos for this sim? This is our explorer, so we could do the new love struck tattoo, but I don't think we will, not for this sim. I think this sim is going to just have like a little rose tattoo. I think we'll do our serial romantic as this sim with all of the different tattoos. And then what other traits? I think this one definitely needs to be a love bug. A and we'll say- so practice makes perfect. They, they're getting there eventually. And we'll make her a little geek. Okay, so this is our first sim. This is our romantic explorer aspiration. You guys have to let me know what you think. Are you getting the romantic exploration vibe from her or not so much? Next up, we have the only male sim that I'm doing in this video. And I'm trying to branch out more and do some male sims. So this is going to be our soulmate sim. So he is actually really cute already. And I think we're just going to make him, I don't know. I think he's just going to be a sweet guy. We're going to have him being like a premature grayer. So he is going to have salt and pepper hair because I think it's cute. Also, he needs custom eyes. I swear I gave him custom eyes, but they left. So it's fine. We'll add some back. I want to do these eyes. Okay, I think that'll work. So let's look at hair. Just, I think we'll go for this. I like this for him. And this is going to be our more reserved sim. Like he's looking for a soulmate, but he's a little bit shy, a little bit on the reserved side. I gave him the eyelashes that <laughs> glitch with glasses, which is fine. I think we'll switch to these glasses and then we need to change out his lashes to the ring version. Yeah, I think that's cute. Oh, I think he's cute. And then we'll give him facial hair. Again, we'll do the glitch, the glitching. We'll do the graying because I think that's cute. Okay, I think he's really cute. So this is our soulmate sim. And we'll make him, I want to give him like a really laid back style, mostly because I feel like I usually don't. I kind of default to giving my masculine sims kind of like this aesthetic, which I do love. Like, I do think this would look really nice, right? But let's go for something really casual for him, I think. And let's make it not black. <laughs> Let's, let's make his, his vibe not black, okay? I, I always have my male sims dressed in like dark colors. So let's give him like a very light, bright kind of style. Okay, that's so cute. Like with the cream pants, y'all stop. Like, is that not, like, is this not a vibe? This is not what I just said I was going to do, by the way. This is not a laid back style. That is, that is not, that is not what I said I was going to do. Okay, wait, let's do shorts. Let's, let's commit to what we said. It's kind of dress shorts, but it's fine. It's fine. I think it's cute. I think he looks cute. 
And then do we have shoes that like match? Do we go for like the pink? That's really cute. Okay, he's actually really cute. I'm so into him. 10 tens across the board, love him. And then we'll let him wear like a little watch just because that makes sense to me. We'll do this one. He can't wear rings because of his eyelashes, but that's fine. And then he doesn't need any other makeup, I don't think, but we will let him wear, I think I want him to wear a necklace. Maybe like this one, that's really nice. Gold, black, silver. I think we'll go silver. And then should he have earrings? I do like to have pierced ears on my masculine frame sims. Or female sims also. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, y'all, I think he's so cute. He's really simple. It is so easy to make masculine frame sims for me because I literally don't do anything to them. But I think he looks really good. We can look to see if there's any hairs I like better for him. But I doubt it. Like, I just feel like this one really fits his vibe. And I don't feel like I've used this hair a ton of times. So I think it looks good on him. We could go for this one. Also looks good, but I can't get like the grayish hair. And I like the idea that he's like an early grayer. I think it just kind of gives him a slightly different vibe to a lot of my other Sims. Like he's young, but he's just going gray early. I wonder if we should try to give him some slightly more aged skin details as well. What level is his actual skin detail on? I think we give him some bags. That's cute, right? Y'all, I don't think he has any skin details on, and I've definitely put some on him, but I don't think he had any on. Which is fine. We'll just pop some on him now. Okay, I think that looks really good. I feel like my game is still like struggling where I'll pick things and then it'll get rid of them, but it's okay. He does still have his blush on, and now he's got like some little eye bags, like just like a slightly aged sim. Go for that, okay. Yeah, I think he's really cute. And then he needs some more traits as well. So we're gonna make him a bookworm. Um, he needs to be loyal. Loyal. And I think we'll make him generous. Okay, so this is our soulmate aspiration sim. So he's pretty laid back. He's just looking, but he's not looking that hard because he doesn't like to come too far out of his shell. But I think he's really cute. I'm actually really happy with him. It's always so easy for me to make masculine frame sims because I only have like four pieces of content for them. This is not even any custom content besides his hair. This is all in-game stuff because... I don't have that much CC. Next we'll move into what I guess is the least savory of the aspirations. So this is gonna be our serial romantic sim. So these sims want to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people. I guess I forgot to mention the soulmate aspiration. So for this one, this sim wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one, which, you know, kind of, kind of obvious I think from the title, but it's okay. So this is our serial romantic and I think that she is perfect for this. I'm gonna give her like greenish blue eyes and I'm gonna make them just a little bit bigger because I love large eyes on my sims. Okay yeah I think she's perfect. She's got a little bit more of like a cat eye look and I love that. Okay, so this one I want to be like a really slick, like sleek sim. It's kind of what I have in mind for her. Okay, let's go through my hairs and see what I can find. I wouldn't mind something like this, but I wanted to have just a little bit more like, I don't know, a little more flair. I use this hair a lot and it's not really the idea of what I want either, but... This one's pretty. 
Like I love how voluminous it is. I have used it a few times, but it is pretty. This one's also very pretty. I love this hair. But I want her to be a little bit more sleek. Like this one's pretty too, but I think I want her actually to almost have her hair pulled up and back. Okay, I've clicked through all my hairs a lot of times and this is kind of where we've landed. I think it's pretty. It's a little different from what I initially said. Like it's not super like sleek, but I also kind of like that for her a little bit too. I just don't see anything that's like exactly what I'm thinking of. I guess we could go shorter. Like if we just went for like a bob, like this is like the sleekest hair in my game. It is different actually. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe we go... I mean, we could also go for this. This is a short hair, but it's sleek, right? But no, I think we're gonna go for that bob, actually. Yeah, I think we're going bob. Like, I think we're committed. I think she's a Bobbiana girl. And yeah, I think we're still going for this blonde. Okay, so this is our bob queen. And for her fit, we're gonna go... We're gonna go with something a little bit, a little bit spicier. So let's see if I can find something that I like. My brain defaults to like a corset because I love them. And she's gonna wear reds. I know this is like super cliche to do, like for our serial romantic to have her be like the spicy sim, but like, Come on, it's just cute. I think we're gonna go for the oversized blazer coat with the leather pants here. I also love this, the vibe of this, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find anything. Okay, I can combine them this way. So we can go red there. Cause I need to be able to give her something, you know, to wear up top too. So let's see. What other accessory tops do I have? Dude, that's pretty. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's kind of like a, I made my own little corset here. That's cute. Does this look better? If I make the bulk of the corset black. Oh, also while we're here, she definitely needs to be a ring sim. Do you wanna do something like that? I want it to be healed because I just like heels, but I don't want it to be like ultra feminine if that makes sense. Oh. So we could go for like this. I think we'll go for that. And then oh. I'm thinking like full claws here. I do wish that these had, like maybe we commit to like fully gold, by the way, that is <laughs> so glitched from the back. But we won't worry about it. We're checking her from the front. And then for makeup. Oh wait, she needs better lashes. This could be a super dramatic lash for her. The only bad thing is because of her eye shape, I have to be careful about her lash. There we go. And then we're gonna go dark on the eyes for her. Like maybe we'll just go for my favorite. I don't know, it's actually not my favorite for her eye shape. She has a really peculiar eye shape, which is part of why I like this sim but it's making my eye looks a little bit more difficult. Maybe this works. And then we go for like a thick smudgy liner or like this is very cat eye, cat eye. And then we're going dark for the lip. I like that, that's perfect. And then she needs a necklace, something chunky. I need to take up a good bit of space. Or this is the one that came with 
this fit and is definitely a moment. And then because this is our serial romantic, we have to do it. We have to do the new tattoo. So she's gonna get the cross dot names. I don't know where it is. I wish there was a way to sort the tattoos by pack, but you can't. So here it is. And we'll go all black for her. You won't be able to see it, but just know this is this is who's got it. Okay, so this is our serial romantic sim, and we will of course make them non-committal. Uh, Marja? They'll be self-absorbed. Oh, Zilni! <laughs> Mom. And then of course they'll be romantic. So this is our serial romantic. I think they turned out really cute. You'll have to let me know what you think below. And then last but certainly not least, we have our Paragon partner. So this Sim wants to have a successful relationship with two or more Sims. So this is our nice polyamorous Sim. So I think we'll go a little bit of a different look for them. I think we'll go like, we'll go for red hair for this sim. We'll match. And I think I wanna do like a short hair. I actually really like this hair and I've never used it. So I think they're gonna get it. And then we'll give them, we'll give them our green eyes. Yeah, this will be our green eyed sim. Yeah, I think that's really cute, actually. Okay, and then just to have an idea, let's go ahead and get lashes on. Okay, and then let's get our style for this Sam. So let's make this one. Uh, let's make them our more laid back kind of Sim, I think. So we'll go for like baggy clothes. I actually kind of start with the bottoms on this one. Because I want to use these. And we'll do, let's do like neutrals. I like the, you know, the idea of my like redhead having some nice neutral colors. So let's go for this. I kind of like this, but I wish that this actually met up. I don't like that much like space just because of the style of this. I think we're just gonna go for, no, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna go for this. It's not exact. But I kind of like it. So we're gonna go for this. And then they're gonna wear, I guess just sneakers actually, which is, I guess I would say not my usual, but it, it kind of is. Though I, I do default to boots, but I want like this, just like a chunky sneaker. And I think I wanna do like this off white. I think it's perfect for the rest of their fit. They're not going to be much of a nail polish person, so we're going to give them just kind of the chipped up nails. I think that's perfect. And I think they should also be able to wear rings. I think I gave them the glasses overlap. Okay, that's perfect for them. The other big thing that I want to do for them is tattoos. This is going to be my tattooed sim. And so I want a chest piece because I want you to be able to see it because most of their body is covered. So I want to do the chest piece. I want something on the upper back, but none of these actually really make that much sense to me. So let's go for the flowers. I think it fits with what else they have going on. Okay, perfect. So you just get like a peek of it right there. I think that is perfect. They're gonna have facial piercings as well, which none of the other Sims do. So we'll go for an eyebrow and then we'll go for the nose. These don't quite match, which is so stressful. Um, that's a closer match, I think. I think I can get away with that. And then we're also going to do stretched ears. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And then we'll maybe do a choker I don't know I have not sure it depends or just like a gold chain that actually works really well 
and this color kind of fits with the rest of their vibe. Yeah, I think this is our Paragon partner. Okay, I think this hem's actually really cute. I love the way they turned out. So they are going to be... I'm actually going to have them be romantically reserved, even though they're in multiple relationships. I think it's that they're going to be a little bit on the reserve side when it comes to getting into the relationship. They'll also be an art lover. And we'll also make them... I'll make them a perfectionist because they want to get the best out of their relationship. So these are our four sims for the romantic aspirations. So uh, first we have our romantic explorer. I think she is a really cute, very sweet, very innocent, is looking for everything that love has to offer. That's kind of the vibe I get from that aspiration, but you guys can let me know if you think it should be different. Next we have our soulmate. He's really laid back, chill, just looking for the one, that one person that'll be it for him. And I think he turned out really cute as well. He actually might be my favorite, which is very unusual. Then we have our serial romantic and they are just here to see a little bit of everything. They've got more than one partner. They've had more than one partner. They're lining them up and break them, breaking hearts, but they are looking good while doing it. And then of course, last we have our Paragon partner and they just want to have a nice, healthy relationship dynamic with two sims and they want everyone to be very happy and fulfilled in their relationship and they are looking good with that as well so you guys have to let me know down below which one of these sims is your favorite please like comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and let me know if you would like to see us create kind of the bonus love aspiration there is one more and it's in the deviant category because technically villainous valentine to me feels like a love aspiration so let me know down below if you would like to see a sim created for that as well but i want to say i thank you so 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 very much for watching as absolutely always please like comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and i will see you all next time bye